Yo, 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 it's the Xbox Goes Kaleidoscope with some unique views and news for the YouTubers here on YouTube. Now, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The shit has definitely hit the fan and started shooting off in every freaking direction, yo. All right, literally, the whole room is fucking a mess, all right? And who can we attribute to this? Actually, the Iron Wolf, all right? Because if you've seen, I mean, there's been videos all over YouTube. Even JTEC actually did a podcast about it, about Iron Wolf abandoning the Xbox fucking community. Wow, that's just mind-blowing, all right? Because, you know, he's one of the my co-horsemen from the DirectX talk show. You know what I'm saying? One of the horsemen of the apocalypse, along with Ghost Rider 730 and Jay Long. And he actually started flipping his wig. He wants to play more passive games, like this, for instance, Final Fantasy. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to trudge through it, but, you know, it's just... Oh, well. I mean, it's good. The graphics are pretty. Um, but, oh, well. I mean, you know, it's not for everybody. Now, this is the type of shit I like. Things that's more on point. The things that react in a heartbeat, all right? You know, I click that trigger, I expect that character to hit that dude. Not for me to hold my finger on a button and then watch my character over and over beat the shit out the dude. You know, I mean, talk about fucking gaming for dummies. You know, but that's actually what the PS4 is if you think about it. This is the evolution of the gameplay on PS4. QTEs. That's the actual evolution. And Wolf is not going to experience this First hand, you know what I'm saying? He'll be able to try the Yontul trashes, the boredoms of 1886, and the blood boards of the world. All right? And he'll actually enjoy them. And he'll actually be able to play all those neat titles. Why? Because he was finally consumed by the power of the dark side. <laughs> it's true, man. I mean, once he saw that Darth Vader sticker on the PS4 a couple of years back, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and that's what we here in the Xbox community thought about all that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, well, a lot of people lately have been getting rubbed the wrong way by your comments on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Talking about that you jump ship, that you betrayed the Xbox community. You've gone against the grain. All right? Talking about that there's no variety on the Xbox ecosystem when that's the furthest thing from the truth. All right? Because you're saying that there's no JRPGs, but there are JRPGs. You say there's no fighting games, but there are fighting games. As a matter of fact, one of them is actually exclusive. Um, but I understand where you're coming from. What you mean to say is that they don't have enough of a certain genre. Because if you think about it, in the Xbox ecosystem, every single gaming genre is represented. So when you say there's no variety, that's actually very, very misleading, son. But you mean to say there's not enough of a certain genre that I like to play, which are JRPGs. And they're kind of niche if you think about it. But I'm going to go one further. On backwards compatibility alone on the XB1, we have Lost Odyssey and Blue Dragon. And between those two, they shit on every single Japanese RPG that came out this generation. <laughs> and that's a fact. <laughs> All right? It's well a story and everything. Now, that's just my $2 worth. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, Wolf likes what he likes, and it's all good. There's nothing wrong with that. We're all gamers at the end, and we all enjoy different types of games. I just had to set the record straight. So... For everybody else, y'all can comment, rate, share, subscribe. I'm all for it. And I'm signing off saying, and there it is. Clear as motherfucking day, yo. And I'm out. Peace, bro. And Wolf, I'm gonna get at you.